Olá, muito boa noite. Está começando agora o programa Armazém Ux TV, trazendo as novidades culturais aqui de Caxias do Sul e também da Serra Gaúcha. Um dos maiores clássicos da música vai ser apresentado nessa edição do programa Quinta Sinfônica 2013. É a nona sinfonia de Beethoven, interpretada pela Orquestra Sinfônica da Ux, em parceria com o coro da Orquestra de Porto Alegre e mais quatro solistas convidados. Os detalhes desse concerto você confere no quadro Substância Sonora. A Sinfônica da Ux comemora o aniversário em grande estilo. Nesse mês de novembro, a Quinta Sinfônica vai mostrar um repertório muito especial com a presença da solista, a soprano Stephanie Tingler, ela que é americana, e é com ela que nós conversamos hoje no quadro Substância Sonora. Olá, Viviane. O repertório é baseado na nona sinfonia de Beethoven. Para você, qual é a importância dessa obra, desse concerto? This piece was written hundreds of years ago, but the message is still very important that all people should be brothers. It was important then. It's more important now than it was then that um, the whole world learn to be friends with each other, that we understand that we're all related, that we are all brothers. Um, this is still very important. Nessa obra existe a ódio e a alegria. Como é que você percebe essa obra, esses sentimentos que o Beethoven escreveu, compôs? Yes, there's a great deal of joy in this work. Um, there is also some great concern uh, for mankind inside this piece too. Um, I think Beethoven saw ahead to the future and knew that men were going to continue to have trouble, that men were going to continue to have difficulty getting along with each other. Um, but Beethoven had a great heart, and I think his hopefulness overcame his pessimism about the future of mankind. I think that's where the joy comes from, is he had true hope that mankind would find a way to be brothers. Stephanie, como é que você acha que o Beethoven já surdo conseguiu compor essa nona sinfonia? I wish I knew. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I think it was because this piece was divinely inspired, uh, a, a juice, that it, it transcends human human abilities and physical frailties that um, this God ordained for this piece to be written. And I think that's why he was able to do it even though he was deaf. But he was a very talented, gifted musician too. He could hear it all in his head. Um, there's a famous story about the first performance that um, Beethoven The piece was done, and he couldn't hear the applause from the audience behind him. So someone from the orchestra stood up and turned him around so he could see the reaction from the audience. It was very warmly received at its first performance. Como é que você se sente cantando esse repertório? This is one of my favorite pieces. I have sung it several times. Um, I've never sung it in Germany, <laughs> but I've sung it several times on different occasions. And each time it has a different meaning for me. There is so much joy inside of how Beethoven has constructed and put the piece together. There's so much to appreciate for how he put it together. And how simple it sounds to the ear. 
when it's performed. It sounds very simple. It's a very complex work. And that the melody, <laughs> anybody can leave singing that. And it's important for people to have something to take home with them when they leave a concert. If it's been music they don't necessarily understand, they don't have anything to take home. You can take Beethoven home with you. E as expectativas para esse concerto aqui em Caxias do Sul? <laughs> well, I expect it's going to be a wonderful concert. <laughs> um, I have not done this piece in a church in a long time. I'm looking forward to doing it in church again. Um, in the United States, I don't know if this happens here, but in the United States, very often we take that um, joyful, joyful, we adore thee, Lord of, we sing it in church. Um, so it's nice to hear that song come back into church again. Um, I'm looking forward to that. Um, the orchestra is very good. Um, the chorus is very, very good. Um, The musicians are very well prepared. The soloists are excellent. Um, we've had good opportunities to rehearse. Um, Maestro Schmidt is very, very skilled. And he has a um, very good idea about how he wants the piece to go. He's been very clear. Um, I'm looking forward to a very exciting performance and doing it in church. That's That's what I'm looking forward to. Stephanie, para a gente finalizar essa conversa, vamos fazer um convite então para o pessoal para que possam assistir a quinta sinfônica aqui da Ux. Obrigada, ai Maestro Schmidt e a Orquestra de UCS, Ux, para convidar me cantar a Caxias. Eu espero Uh, para vo que você gostou a concerto. E nós encerramos o quadro Substância Sonora de hoje, ouvindo mais um pouco da voz de Stephanie Tindler, acompanhada pelo pianista Fernando Halber. Stephanie. Obrigada. O concerto dessa quinta-feira acontece na Igreja Imaculada Conceição, a Igreja dos Capuchinhos, aqui de Caxias do Sul, a partir das 9 horas da noite. A entrada é franca, mas sugere-se a doação de alimentos não perecíveis. O programa de hoje fica por aqui. Tenham todos uma ótima noite e a gente se vê amanhã. Até lá!